Roush always offers a unique style for their Mustangs, and the 2018 is no different. We've already installed their hood vents on our 2018 Orange Fury GT, and today we're going to add their front corner pockets. While nobody can argue the performance, the one area of the 2018 Mustang that is definitely polarizing is the front bumper. Now, some people like myself love the way it looks with the angles to it. I think it's very aggressive looking. A lot of people really don't like it. Now, the one area in particular people talk about is right below the marker lights. But what Roush did is design these corner pockets that fit in that area and provide a very unique looking Mustang. These are made of a TPO plastic will fit your 2018 GT or EcoBoost. For this installation, let a lift or a jack and jack stands, quarter inch ratchet, 5.5 millimeter socket, 7 millimeter socket, 8 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter wrench, center punch, drill, eighth inch drill bit, quarter inch drill bit, three eighth drill bit, and safety glasses. To begin the installation, you have to remove your front bumper cover to get access to mount the pockets properly. So we're going to start over here in the fender wells to get all these clips off. Now you do not have to remove the wheel. We only did that so you can get a better view of what we're doing. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is remove these two clips here. Now these, you simply push in the middle and you get your fingers in there and just pop them right out. If you can't, just use a small flathead screwdriver. Okay, then remove these clips down here to pop up the center. Okay, those clips now we can pull back the splash shield and then we can remove the hardware right up here that holds the fender to the front bumper. And just push down this bracket, remove the Christmas tree clip in the center. And now your bumper's free. Then while we're here, you want to reach back, follow this harness right here, disconnect the marker and fog lights, and repeat the process on the other side. Okay, now underneath the car, we have to remove the closeout panel to get the bumper off. There's going to be a bunch of screws in the back here, and then two clips as well. All right, moving up top to get the bumper cover off up here, we're going to start by removing the radiator cover, again, held on by a bunch of clips. And now we have to remove these screws. There's two little five and a halfs on the end and the rest are all eight millimeter. Okay, now with a little bit of help, we can pull the bumper cover off. Once you remove the bumper cover, you wanna remove the fog and marker light assemblies, removing these three screws. Okay, we're ready to begin the installation now. What we're going to do is we have to drill a hole in this factory piece over here. So you're going to grab a supplied template. You're going to seat it in there. I guess it'll fit tight if you cut it out properly. If not, just tape it on. Then you need to punch a hole right up here. I'm going to drill that out. Okay, now we're gonna start by drilling a pilot hole. If you look, it should be pretty much center in the honeycomb. And then drill it out to a quarter inch. And repeat the process on the other side. All right, you wanna cut out the templates now. These are gonna be for the slots. They're gonna go in here Basically, to hold the corner pocket in place. I'm going to line up. See, line us up with the curve. Make sure the dotted line kind of runs with the curve to the bottom.
All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill basically 15 eighth inch holes and then we're gonna oval them out for the slots. So we're gonna start by marking them all with a punch. Okay, now we're gonna carefully drill the holes. And the next part might feel a little awkward, but what you're gonna do, you're gonna take the drill bit and basically use it to carefully ream out these holes. Well, don't worry, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. You just gotta make sure that the slot from the pocket fits in the hole. And now you want to grab the corner pocket and just test with the opening. Make sure that again, these tabs fit into the slots we just cut out. If they don't, you can open them up just a little bit more. Now you see it's going to look like that when it's installed. Okay, now working on the inside of the bumper. I'm going to grab these templates that you're going to want to have to cut out. And this gets lined up right over here. Get this so it matches the curve. Everything else sits flush. I'm gonna mark the hole right in the middle. Right, we're gonna start by drilling an eighth inch pilot hole there. Then enlarge it to three eighths of an inch. And repeat the process on the other side. Okay, now you wanna grab your corner pocket and this mounting bracket. The bracket is gonna fit like this. So this going towards the back and towards the outside. Grab the supplied hardware and screw it on. Just get all three of them started before you try to tighten anything down. And just get these snug. They do provide a torque spec of two newton meters. Basically, you don't want to strip them, just get them snug. All right, part of the mounting hardware for the corner pocket is some double stick tape, which goes along this edge here. Just want to get a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Let's clean that surface off quick before we install the tape. We're gonna pull back the white side of the tape, leave the red tab on there. Just inside the edge, right down here. Right, now we're gonna clean this area here where the tape is gonna go. And this area here, we're gonna clean up with some soapy water. The next step of insulation is to install this blackout graphic. And what this is gonna do when you install your corner pocket, it's gonna basically cover like up to here and then go in there. You can barely see just a little hint of orange right in this area. So if you look carefully with the marker light installed, what this is gonna do is basically fit right to there like this and it'll black out that area to make sure you don't see any of the orange between the black panel here and our marker light. I'm gonna display some soapy water to put this on. You get right up to where the curve starts. Don't go past that point. And just work the graphic on. You might want a little bit of heat. Now, again, the only part that really matters though is gonna be this edge. As long as this is a good solid seal here, just make sure the rest of the sticker is adhered. Again, don't worry about wrinkles like this. It's this edge right here is the only spot you will see of this graphic. So just make sure this right here is nice and smooth and clean. The rest of this won't matter. All right, so now making sure you wanna have this tab visible so you can remove it. This stud here aligns with that hole, and then the three slots go over here. I see slide it in, hold it in place, and then pull this tab to remove the tape.
And the bracket back here is threaded nut. So what you're gonna do is line up the supply bolt with the nut and thread it on. Again, just get it snug. And the alignment stud over here, you're gonna grab this offset washer, put that on there against the body, grab the supply nut, Basically, you're just going to cut it onto the plastic. And again, just get it snug, don't over tighten. All right, the pocket installed, grab the marker light. back in place and reinstall the factory hardware. And then repeat the process on the other side. All right, with our corner pockets installed, now we can reinstall our front bumper cover. Now reinstall the cover with all the original push clips. And now underneath, we'll reinstall the push pins and screws. And with that in place, don't forget to reinstall your fog light. And your installation is finished. Rash Corner Pockets really add a unique look to the front of our 2018 GT. Now these will fit your GT or EcoBoost and can be installed as you see just by themselves. Now in our case though, we do have some other Roush components coming we're gonna install that'll really tie this whole front end together. As far as the installation goes, you do have to take the bumper off. It's a little time consuming. I'd say probably two to three hours. Be back on the road in no time.